Hello and welcome back to the Weekend Handyman. Today we will be replacing the leather pump on this Coleman fuel tank. Uh, basically the problem is uh, I'm pumping and pumping and pumping, there's no resistance and the uh, tank's not gaining any pressure. So I already replaced the fuel cap because that needed to be, or the gasket in the fuel cap because that needed to be replaced uh, regardless and that's still not any better. So we're going to be replacing the old worn out leather cup on the pump. So the first thing you're going to do is, which I've already done, is there's this little metal ring on the, the pump. You can take either a screwdriver or some kind of pick and pry it off and it just comes right off. Um, this one was already off so it won't come off that easily. And the pump pulls straight out. So, on the pump, on older pumps, there will be a square nut on the inside. Show you a little better once I pull it off. But um, so that'll be a square nut on the inside and then a hexagon type shape as a backing plate to the to the cup here. So what I typically use for this is a pair of vice grips and a pair of adjustable or an adjustable wrench. So vice grips so I don't need to put them on too tight, just enough to hold it. You can also use needle nose pliers if that's what you have around. So just break it, break it loose with the adjustable wrench and uh, pulls right off. So here's the stem of it right here. So you can see that's that's right where it threads on, and that's the hexagon shape I was talking about right there. Here we have the cup, the worn out leather cup. Trash that, and here is the square nut. So I went ahead and ordered some new, uh, a couple new leather cups because I have a couple pumps that are worn out that need to be fixed. Got them from a guy on eBay He's here in the U.S. Um, these particular ones from Northwest Outlet. I'm not sure if that's his eBay name or not, but uh, it's an actual store he runs and he sells stuff on eBay as well. So take the new pump right here, new leather pump cup. Put it on and put the nut back on. So. Tighten it up and you're good to go. What I typically use to oil these once this is on, I use a, a three in one oil, just kind of oil it up a little bit, get it ready to go put a little bit of oil in the sleeve where it will go inside inside of the tank here so it's not just going you know that you got the fresh new leather going on on the the bare metal you don't want to have that so you know, I'll do that I'll I'll pump it get it in here pump it a couple of times add a little bit more oil and it should be good to go and that's how you replace the leather pump uh, one other thing that I should mention is that I've also run into another later type of uh, pump here, which is this one. The body is pretty much the same, except that instead of the square nut, what it has this little little press fitting here. You can see there's looks like there's three barbs on it. What it does is it presses onto the stem, and uh, this one's a little more difficult to remove because you need to get a uh, little pick here get up and work each of the three prongs of the barbs up until it reaches the top and then it pulls right off. So, I mean, that's a little little more tricky, but that's the other one I've run into. Um, so, I mean, this is really a simple job. It's, uh, I mean, minute maybe. Uh, and it will let you start using your Coleman product again. Um, any questions or comments, please post below. Thank you for watching.